Hey, long time no see. How's it going? Well, judging by the look on your face, I'm guessing not so good, huh? Bet you're still struggling to make ends meet and don't even have a moment to relax or unwind. Being kicked out of your home with no money or job must be tough, huh? Riley, I didn't expect to hear from you. What's up? You haven't reached out to me since the divorce. <laughs> I called you today to give you an update. I'm pretty sure you haven't heard anything from dad yet. What's going on? Well, dad's getting married soon. And of course, he's tying the knot with someone who's drop dead gorgeous and super nice. She's the daughter of some big shot company. Dad and I are gonna be living the high life, you know? Oh, that's great. Congrats to your dad. Sure thing. I'll make sure to tell him that you were disappointed to hear the news, but still wished him well. What? Aw, don't be mad that we're the only ones happy about this. It's all thanks to you getting kicked out by dad, you know? Thanks for being the mature one and following the path dad laid out for you. All the effort we put into getting rid of you was totally worth it. Yeah, I guess you had complete control over us. Just like you wanted. You were the reason for our divorce and my eviction from my own house. That is such a simpleton. It's honestly hilarious. I was the one who messed up the dishes and burned his favorite shirt with the steam iron. He thought it was all you're doing and kicked you out. No matter how much I tried to explain, he wouldn't listen and just told me to stop making excuses. You were the one who wiped out all the data from his computer, but he blamed me for it. He kicked me out that day accusing me of holding him back and being a burden. I'll never forget that day. I successfully got rid of you as planned, and now dad's marrying into a wealthy family. I can't help but smile because everything played out exactly how I wanted. Maybe I'm a genius. What do you mean? Everything went according to plan? Were you secretly orchestrating his marriage to this woman? I just made it easier for him to remarry. My dad always gets gifts of chocolates from his coworkers for his birthday, right? But he doesn't like sweets, so he gives them all to me. And that's when I realized something. I noticed that there was one person who seemed to be really into him. Don't tell me that's the woman he's getting married to. That's right. I found out she is the daughter of a business partner of dad's company or something. She's connected to the company and works for him. So I thought for sure she would take advantage to approach dad if he becomes single again. And it worked out just as you wanted it to? It took a while, but all's well that ends well. I'd rather be a daughter to this woman than a housewife who just stays home. It sounds so much better, and it would only benefit me better as a daughter. I'm sorry for being a mother without a beneficial advantage for you. So that's it for now. A happy update from your daughter. I'm sure you have something to tell me too. Or not, I guess. A former housewife is just an unemployed person after divorce. I bet your life must be so low now. I beg your pardon? Well, then, keep up the good work. I'm going to be the daughter of a rich family, like a celebrity. Hey, Sarah. Can I ask you something? Have you been communicating with your former family? Not really. Why? What's going on? It's unusual for you to ask such a question, Ron. Actually, there was a wedding invitation for you in the mailbox. It's a simple postcard. So it caught my attention and I just happened to read some part of it. I think it's your ex-husband's wedding. What? An invitation from my ex-husband? I think your daughter sent it to you. It also has a comment that says, be sure to come. I see. Even a high school student like myself would get it. Wedding invitations are only sent out to those who are close to you or important to you, right? That's why I found it so strange that you got the invitation. You don't even want to talk about your family from your previous marriage. You rather seem to dislike them. Yeah, I hate them so much that I don't want to do anything with them anymore. I'm sure that invitation is a kind of harassment. I heard my ex is getting married again to a very wealthy woman. I'm sure he wants to show off. What a stupid harassment. Can I throw it away? You're not going anywhere, are you? No. So yes, I'd be happy if you toss it out for me. But I'm sorry you had to see that. Don't worry about it. I was afraid you'd be hurt if you saw an invitation like this. That's why I just wanted to make sure. I'm glad I can throw it away without you seeing it. Oh, Ron. How sweet of you. Your sweet words make me melt, even though I'm your stepmom. No, that's nothing special. Because it's just not normal to send harassing invitations to a divorced mother. By the way, you have quite a daughter. 
She is going to be quite something in the future if she's this insidious in elementary school. What didn't I tell you? My daughter is in high school. She's not in elementary school. She's a freshman. What? Really? Her handwriting is so unique. I mean, so messy. I thought she was still in elementary school. I was also concerned about her handwriting as a mother, but by that time, she already looked down on me for being a housewife. When I asked her to practice, she just shunned me. I thought she'd be better now that she's grown up, but she's still the same. It must have been a tough family. In fact, thanks to that, I feel very grateful for what I have now. Well, I'm almost done with my grocery shopping, so I'll be home soon. I'll cook us something good right after I get home. I'll be in my room studying then. Oh, I'm in the mood for Chinese tonight. Alrighty, I'll prepare you something really good. Hey, I went out of my way to send an invitation and you just ignore them. If you are not coming, just say so. Oh, I'm sorry. It seems that I must have thrown it away or something. Huh? How dare you do that to your darling daughter? Just because you're jealous of dad's remarriage doesn't mean you should throw it away. Don't worry. I'm not envious of his marriage. I really don't care. I know you're pretending. You're so frustrated inside, aren't you? I bet you wanted to get back together with dad and become an easy housewife again, didn't you? Too bad. Dad's getting married to the daughter of a wealthy family. A woman like you will never be able to remarry. And you'll be a divorced bachelor for the rest of your life. But I did. So don't bother me again, will you? Let's focus on our new families. Huh? Wait a minute. You got married? A former housewife is useless after a divorce. What kind of a stupid man marries an old lady like you? Don't be rude. He's a very honorable man. He takes pride in his work as a doctor and is very responsible. He is strict with himself, but kind to others. He's the love of my life right now. No way. You married a doctor? That means he makes a lot of money, right? How much more does he make than dad? Don't ask such a blunt question. You have no class. It's none of your business. I see. No wonder you're not jealous of dad. You've already got your own rich daddy. That's not what it is. I'm just not interested in your father's remarriage. Oh, then, mom, do you want to meet with me sometime? We haven't met since the divorce. I bet you miss seeing my face. What? What's wrong with you? I don't find it interesting to meet you living in misery, but I don't mind meeting the current you if you want. I'd love to hear where you found your doctor husband. Let's share some love stories. Huh? I want to marry a doctor myself in the future. In fact, there's this guy that I have a crush on and he's trying to get into medical school. So tell me, how can I go out with him? I'm sure you want to meet with me too, since it's been a while. Wow, what a sudden change of your attitude. Oh, by the way, don't forget to give me an allowance. I'll meet you in front of the station this weekend and give me $200 for two hours at the cafe. Or $500 if you want to have lunch with me. What? It's been a while since you've seen your daughter, so I'm sure you don't mind splurging a bit on my allowance. Besides, you're a doctor's wife now. You have so much to spare, don't you? Huh? I'm a daughter of a rich mom now. That's pretty much the basic amount of allowances for a rich kid. I'm sure it's nothing for you. You're going to meet with your daughter for the first time since the divorce. It's only natural that you would want to give me $500 allowance per visit if you are a mom. Shut up, you little brat. What? Just shut your mouth. I can't stand this anymore. What are you? You have a totally rotten mentality to the core. This is absolutely not the way to treat your biological mom. I can't watch this anymore. What the hell? You're not my mom, are you? Who the hell are you? Sarah is my important family, so I'm going to have to intervene with her family. I can't just stand by and watch Sarah being treated like this. What? Family? So you're the guy from her second marriage? I'm her stepson. I'm the son of the doctor Sarah married to. What? Mom has a stepson now? I lost my mother in an accident, and it's been just my dad and myself ever since. I don't have any memories of her, and I don't know how to relate to her. But Sarah's been so kind to me, and we get along so well as a family. So don't get in our way. Don't upset Sarah anymore. What? Who are you to talk to me like that? 
I'm her biological daughter. She gave birth to me. What's wrong with a daughter trying to meet her own mother? You're only a stepson. Don't interrupt us. Shut up. What do you mean by only a stepson? You're not even her daughter anymore, so don't act like you are. What? Your birth mother doesn't even want to see you anymore. That's your answer already. Yeah, who do you think you are to talk to her so condescendingly? You're a high school kid, and you don't even know that? Who the hell are you? You're so annoying. You just came out of nowhere. I'm more disgusted with you than you are with me. You kicked her out yourself. And what do you think you're doing trying to get involved with her? If you have time for that, practice your handwriting. Your message on the invitation card was so awful. I thought an elementary school kid wrote it. Huh? Hey, what's with you? I'm seriously pissed off. Where the hell are you? I'm coming to you now to kick your ass. My name is Ron Walls. I'm a senior at West High School. If you have a problem with me, come see me anytime. What? You go to West High School. Are you a senior in the advanced class? What? Do you know me? I also go to West High School. I'm a freshman there, and I sometimes pass by your building. For real? I had no idea. Not only that, I even gave you a love letter once. I'm your secret admirer. What? I was too embarrassed to write my name on them, but I've sent a few. But I can't believe this. I can't believe that you're my mom's stepson. Do coincidences like this actually happen in reality? Does this mean we're destined to be together? You know what? I do remember. Your very unique handwriting. You were the sender of that letter. I thought it was from an elementary school kid because of the messy handwriting. I was in fact impressed that there are some very sophisticated small kids out there. Huh? That's terrible. I tried so hard. Because your handwriting was really awful. Really? I'm still surprised, but it's actually good timing. I really hate you. So don't ever send me those letters again. Please consider this as my response to your letter. What? Wait, wait a minute. This is not right. I don't want to get dumped like this. What's not right is your common sense and your awful handwriting. Anyways, stay away from my mom from now on. I didn't know that Ron is your stepson. I tried to talk to him directly. He ignored me after finding out who I am. I didn't know about your school. When did you transfer to West High School? Last year, I transferred when dad and his girlfriend started dating before the marriage. She recommended the school because she used to go to that school. I thought if I went there, I could be a beautiful, classy lady too. That's why I asked my dad to transfer me to this school. It's a private school, isn't it? Now that I remember, there were quite a few students with wealthy families. But I shouldn't have transferred if it was going to be like this. I don't have many friends, and I've been rejected by a senior student. Besides, I'm going to live in a dormitory from spring. What? Is that so? I heard they have a dormitory for kids whose homes are far away. But you can commute from your father's house, can't you? I could, but my stepmom insisted that I go to the dorm. I guess when she marries dad, I will be in her way. I bet that's why she'd been trying to get me to change schools for a year. Your dad's girlfriend is more of a schemer than you. It really sucks. Dad is happy to put me in the dormitory. I was looking forward to seeing Ron a lot more, but that won't happen anymore. I don't even want to go to school anymore. And now dad is upset with me that I want to come back home. What? I just asked him if I can come back home and go back to the old school, but dad said no. This is terrible. Kicking me out of the house so he can enjoy life with his new wife. Well, I don't know what to tell you. I guess the only thing I can say is that what you do comes back to you. What? You kicked me out of the house too. What you do to others comes back to you. Well, that's... Now you know what it's like to be kicked out of your own home, right? What it's like for someone who wants to go back home but can't. It's lonely and hard, isn't it? I've been there. Oh, I'm sorry, Mom. I know how you feel now. I'm really sorry. So, um, will you meet with me sometime? I won't ask for an allowance or anything. I just want to see you. And I want to share with you how lonely I feel. I'm sorry, Riley. I can't do that. What? Why? I sympathize with you, but some things are not possible anymore. I told you before. 
I don't want anything to do with you anymore. You're lying. I'm your own daughter. My own daughter kicked me out of the house. It's like I lost all affection for you right then. No. So, thanks for the update, but I don't need it anymore. So please don't contact me again. Take care. After that, you won't believe what I heard from Ron. So, apparently, Riley is holed up in the dormitory, trying to live a quiet life. But here's the thing. She's still not exactly buddy-buddy with her classmates. It's like she's a one-woman show, always flying solo. Can you imagine? Now, let's talk about my ex-husband. I thought he and his new wife were hitting it off splendidly after they booted their own flesh and blood out of the house. But guess what? Turns out, his new missus, who hails from a fancy pants wealthy family, has a bit of a spending problem. Their blissful marriage didn't last for more than a hot minute. Now they're at each other's throats, fighting like cats and dogs. And their once picture perfect house is a total wreck. I swear, the neighbors must be having a field day with all the gossip flying around. Word on the street is that their marriage was all because of some sordid affair. And get this, the new wife couldn't stand Riley. So she shipped her off to childcare. Can you believe the audacity? Rumors are running wild, spreading like wildfire. But none of our dear friends bothered to approach my ex and get the real story. And to top it all off, the Grape Brown has now infiltrated the company. Talk about a PR nightmare. I hear it's seriously messing with his job and putting a major damper on his professional reputation.